Hello everyone, I'm jcrazy614 and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest 7 and since last time I went back to Vermont and grinded out some gem slimes to give me enough gold for, for some shopping coming up soon. And while that happened, Rough mastered the Sea Sword class and Aisha is now level 7 champion. Well, vocation class level 7 as a champion. So she's supposed to gain the Blade of Ultimate Power herself. As far as levels go, Jack's level 40, Russ 39, Aisha's level 38, and Maribel's gotten up to 32. She probably won't be able to catch up to everyone, but at least it's somewhat respectable for where I'm at in the game. But now it's time to head back. And of course the monsters are still running from us. They are not in the... They won't in the volcano, though. But we shouldn't be meeting up with anyone else. Since we're done here, might as well head back. And also, while I was doing my gold grinding, I managed to tame a great... a great vine. But let's head back into the portal. <clears throat> Sorry. Clear my throat. Should have done that before recording. Alright, still no flames for... Well, it's still no flames for the... For either the other temples. Well, the teleportals, so... Might as well head home. I saw some mysterious flames pop up in the last episode. And I still don't think we can z quite zoom out yet. Well, zoom back yet. Our island's the island's still cut off. And of course the enemy runs right into us. Alright, let's see. We go sport. Yeah, also Rough Learn Freezing Blizzard, which is a breath attack. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll go pin here. Maribel, I'll have her use lightning, but during my grinding, I was using Big Banga. It works really well on the King Slimes. And as a druid, it only costs 15 MP. And with there being a, being a healing tile in, the, in Vermont's level 4, you can actually use that to constantly re regenerate your MP and keep grinding there. And with the ability to quick save, you can actually take your good time. Find out your grinding sessions. If you, it took me about two and a half hours because you will run to other enemies, and even with whistle. But really, if you don't have that time, you can cut that up into specific chunks. I mean, Quincy, I mean the 3DS version. It's, it's been a real help. Oh, Gray, I walked right out of Pil Pilchard Bay. Hey, miss, we need to get there. Oh, yeah, a strange ship. Yeah, yeah, we've done a lot of things. I think we're the ones you can have investigate. Hmm. I think someone's trying to kill us over here. Oh, so you haven't been able they haven't come on ashore, so hmm. wait, you think you think that's there? Look, we're alright. We took down a demon king, but I think we can handle everything else. Yeah, um, um, we will. Alright. Mayor, we're going to investigate that ship. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go look at this mysterious ship that popped up recently. Ah, oh, wants to go below deck just, in, just to be safe. Alright. 
Well, hopefully Dad's on the ship. Alright, Mayor, we're ready. for us as well. Wow. That ship looks familiar. Could have sworn we've seen it before. Somewhere frozen in ice, you would say. Alright, so we're going to lead the charge onto the ship. Oh! Oh no, we've been noticed! Oh! Oh no! You fell into a sea full of monsters. Oh, that's Tar. Man, if that's Tar, then... I know whose ship it is. You remember back at Buckingham when we had that flashback? Well, we're finally going to meet them. Man, Captain Shark Guy. I, I know what the ship is, and I know who who's in charge now. Hmm. So... Yep. So it's plan one. Yeah, we're going through this story again. Basically... I will say it now. That ship was the Sea Dragon. And it's Captain Shark Eye's ship. Somehow it's fought out. Finally. And the winner, Captain Shark Eye challenged the Demon King. Decided to draw him far away to where no one could get hurt. And wondering. Demon King won and decided to punish Shark Eye and the people of Buckingham. Shark Eye and his crew got frozen in ice, which I guess just now fought out. And if you remember, the people of Buckingham had all their children become monsters at, at the first full moon. Well, all their. Well, not all their children. I say every time someone gave birth, that baby would become a monster. But we took care of that, oh, many episodes ago. And so basically, this plan is, even if I go down, I'm going to do damage. Oh, they had the water spirit on their side. Stars, Tar is a navigator, of course. Hmm, the seeing the war spirit marked him. Just only a portion? Hmm, I wonder if we'll meet someone who has a full portion.
And well, it sounds like we get to sleep. Wait a minute. Where are... Hmm. No, not really. Wait a minute. Keep on shit. Well, we did try to board their vessel with that. And they fight. We were pirates themselves. We get to talk to the captain? Captain Shark Eye is still alive? Well, of course, they've been frozen in ice. For who knows how long. Centuries, maybe. Well, we're gonna get to meet, meet this captain. There's Tar. Jack and his crew. Mr. Riggin. Tar, Riggin. Well, of course, he thought we were trying to trying to invade. Centuries, of course. Well, he's punished a lot of people in a lot of ways. Our people are being punished right now because we took him down. Well, I happen to have it equipped, so... Yeah. I've been carrying it and using it and it's been really helpful. Actually, I think she's still alive. Scooper said he turned her into a mermaid, so I think she's still around, Captain. Well, we gotta revive. We gotta find the spirits. We just need to know where the next one is. We're taking. We managed to. Bring one back. He's looking at his arm. A mark. We have a mark on our arm. So that's that mark on our arm this whole time. Are we related? Ah! Wait a minute. Looks like the... The Earth Teleportal's back. Well, and the Wind one, as well. I always say the Wire one, but that leads to the... Rainbow Cove. Hmm. That's the Yama. into darkness. Well, wow, you're seeing our power is great. Wait, that's the water spirit. So, so basically, Captain Shark Eye and I were, were destined to meet. Say it was only part of Mark. Like she knew something. Water brings life, earth, wind carries it, and fire allows it to purge. And when all at last is ended, life returns to water. Hmm. Must be combined. So we get our saber back. Hmm. So the marks disappear now. Oh, so we're descendants of Captain Shark Eye. That's why we had that mark. 
it just passed down to us. Which meant that Aeneas gave birth to our ancestor. Long time ago. Heard your name earlier, so. Well, we now got a place where we can sleep for free again. Yeah, we might as well look around here. See if there's anything of note. Nope. That leads up. Hey. Yeah. I can only imagine. All we've done is travel back in time and fix the past. Oh, there's a pirate's hat. Hmm. So, I'm guessing Captain wrote this in case things didn't turn out. Captain's coat. I'm gonna put those away. Hey there. Yeah, these. Mm, yeah, this is why I've been grinding up my, my money and phone's ringing. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and wow, that's some good stuff here. Hmm. But really, what I want to get is I want to get a couple of metal kings. I don't think Ruff needs one, but I want to give one to Aisha. And one for Maribel because she could use. Because pretty much she has nothing else for offense. Yeah, I might as well break these barrels here. What's here? Hey. Yeah, I'm still doing my exploring. Another captain's coat. Nothing there. Oh, hey. Well, there's our dad here. Hmm. Guess not. And we get a second weapon shop. Now, here I want to pick up the Cobra Claws because. They're a little bit stronger than the Dragon Claws, and they have a chance of poison. That this is actually the last shops of the game. So, I'm going to sell those Dragon Claws. Can't be done with it for now. Well, weapons-wise. Also, here we got... Items, I don't really care for them. Got a cat here. I'm gonna break these barrels and go into this kitchen. 
Wow. Yeah, I'll imagine being at C manage your resources well. And we got a mini metal in this jar. So that's nice. And we have an armor shop here. And let's see. Don't really need much anything here, but I do want to get some silver shield. from Mirabelle? Yes. Uh, there's nothing else on that end, but there is another armor shop right here. Now as far as this goes, ooh some nice gear here. I know to the Mithril Helm, but I do want to pick up a couple of dragon robes. for later I'll likely sell it when I'm in need of money which I should almost never be from this point forward I'm gonna put that in the back for now and I see I'll move the princess well the princess robe over to Aisha so she can have some more some more resistances actually I can I don't really need the magic shield anymore. I could sell it if I want. Yeah, I don't really need a power shield. Ever again. And we got a bar here. Well, I would imagine everything's been frozen solid for so long, sir. Once they fall, I don't know if they'd be any good anymore. But once we fix everything, you should have some better grog. I don't know if he's thinking about gold or something else entirely. Alright, so the mirror's gone back. No, we're not going anywhere quite yet. I'm going to go down here. Hey, okay, got some barrels to break. Yes. And we get another mini metal. Giving us all his treasure? Thanks. Well, we already taken some. We got some gold. And we get another enclosure plan. So once once we're able to get to Monster Mills, we can hand that in. That should be Super the Knife or Tenth, I can't remember which. Actually, I'm going to use the Cedar Strength on Rough. You can use the extra strength. And it's only one, so. And let's bring some more barrels. Oh, they got an on ship farm. So at least they have a way to generate more food. And we got a prison here. Yeah, you got a point there. And we get a turbine in here. And eh, not much. Time to head up. 
Hey. Hmm. Now it's over here. Oh yeah, this is the other side ship we've been on already. Barrels and we get some pilcher crackers. Alright, so. So if you ever want to leave, you can talk to him. He'll be on the right side of the ship. Alright, and. Well, we're at all. All Trades Abbey area. So, I'm gonna go switch into locations and look! A couple new enemies, so I'm gonna. F yeah. Eskew Dogers. I hope I pronounced that right, so I'm gonna go Scorch, Freezing Breath, Pin Air, and Mirabelle. Um, I'm gonna go Magma Blast. I think I got it wrong by calling it Magma Burst last time. It didn't work. Hmm. And he's gonna hide behind his shield. But breath attacks go right through it. Alright, so if I find any new... There's about one more new enemy, and there it is! I think that's the last new enemy here. Terror Hawks! Yeah, I'm just going to use my... Actually, I'm probably going to go Boulder Toss. And... Yeah, I'm up on this. Hopefully it'll work. But look how powerful Freezing Blizzard is. Doing good work, guys. There we go. Oh, wait, there's another new enemy. Iron Frylings. I'm just going to use my standard tag. There. Doing good work, guys. Wow. They were easier than I thought they were. I think that's it for new enemies here. So, I'm going to call it an episode. I'm going to change up my vocations. And next episode, I'll meet you back on the Sea Dragon. But until next time, I'm JCrazy614. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And adios.